I haven't muted, unmuted my mic. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, the today's stream, uh, the continued uh, King's Quest of Thon, um, where we're going to be playing King's Quest V. We've done King's Quest 1s through 4, um, and this one will give our voice a little bit of a rest because it's the first, uh, the first game in the series to have voice acted uh, characters. Which is kind of a blessing because I am not feeling 100% well today. Um, but you know, it'll it'll improve my spirits to play some Kings of Five. This game is this game is a, a delight uh, for all its like negative quirks. It it's it's a really fun game. Uh, so hello to everybody coming in today. Hello Pega Drink. Hello Catastros. And hello Iron Bull. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm I'm very excited to to play this. And hello Cryptic Red Day Ghost. Welcome. Um, I'm aiming to stream today to get King's Quest 5 done, and I'm aiming to stream tomorrow so I can finish off Tomb Raider 2. Uh, hello, Troy. How are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about King's Quest 5. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'll be sort of loosely following a walkthrough as usual, um, just to kind of get the get things going at a, at a decent pace. I have played this game several times, uh, but I don't think I know it off by heart, and I don't want to dead end myself, so... Um, <laughs> you know how it is. Um, speaking of which, uh, my phone just turned off. There we go. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I really recently learned the reason Cedric would not follow you in certain areas is because when he did, it would literally crash the game. <laughs> it's a funny little insight into, um, into this game. Obviously, like, King's Quest V is, like, a huge step up in terms of, um, what was, like, doable in point-and-click adventure games. If you compare, like, King's Quest uh, 3 to this one, there was a four-year difference. Four years. And, like, look at how vast the gap is. Even between King's Quest 4 and 5, that's only two years. Uh, and, like, the difference is huge. It's hard to overstate just how important King's Quest 5 is just for, like, the legacy of point-and-click adventure games because, like, it's a big deal. I mean, obviously, you had Secret of Monkey Island, playing right now, uh, releasing the same year, um, as well as Loom, um, but, like, those weren't initially VGA games, they had VGA sort of versions done later down the line, um, King's Just 5, like, went right out the gate VGA, you know, it's really cool, like, VGA graphics, voice acting, it's not good voice acting, but it is voice acting, you know, 1990, it seems a huge deal, for all its problems. Um, anyway, I just want to—I just want to get into it. Uh, how do I launch the game? I need to go on to here, and then oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, there we go. And then we'll, we already have it on King's Quest Five here. Absence makes the heart go yonder. Uh, there's a lot of cutscene here, uh, so be prepared for that. Oh yeah. The Sierra logo. So the, the grand debut of this this uh, specific logo theme. Beautiful. Oh yes. Have you previously played King's Quest V? I mean, I have, but we want to watch the intro cutscene, so we'll click no. Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Oh. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. I will watch it. Hey, E back with the uh the, the 44 month subscription. Thank you so much there. Lovely to see you. Uh Castle Daventry. Looking as wonderful as I remember it. I sure hope a wizard doesn't appear and steal the castle. Oh no. <laughs> Palthea with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Whoop, there goes the castle. So this game introduces a bit more continuity to the King's Quest series. Um, because story-wise... Hey, it's Admiral Fro. Hello. How you doing, bud? Welcome to the stream. Steals an entire villain on your head when that happens. Yeah, it's the worst. 
Uh, but yeah, this is like the first kind of Kingdom with some actual, I think, proper continuity to it. Like, the events of King's Quest 3 are very important to this game. So. <clears throat> uh, Graham's just going for a, a leisurely saunter through the woods. You know how it is. Can't believe Tears of the Kingdom ripped off King Plus 5. I know, right? Oh no. My castle. What has <laughs> happened? Uh, Josh Mandel as King Graham here. <laughs> it's delightful. Uh, oh, I can tell you what happened. What? What? happened to your castle? I saw it all. Yes, I did. You did? Well then, what happened? I believe... Well, I'll talk about it in a moment. It was the powerful and evil wizard Mordak <clears throat> who did it. Ooh, I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Well, don't stop now. Go on. The VGA in this it game is so good. Up a terrible whirlwind that swirls faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Ooh, it was something to see, all right. Yeah. Why? Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What could he have against me and my family? <laughs> that I don't know. Ooh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. Well, perhaps I can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard, which is why I recognized Mordak. Ooh, unlike Mordak, though, my employer is a very good wizard. His name is Crispin Arthur, but we all call him Crispin for short. The only problem is, you see... <laughs> oh, and there he goes. King Graham does not care. <laughs> anyway, oh, where was I? Oh, yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on in years and tends to be a bit forgetful. I don't know. This doesn't sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Crispin is a very... Oh, Buff Graham is. One of the best. He just gets a little forgetful now and again. That's all. I need to remind you that... Now, where is it? In King's Quest 4... I brought it with me. Aha! Uh -huh, here it is. What is that? Well... It is my opinion that you don't stand a chance against the likes of Mordak. Damn, thanks. Ooh, excuse me for saying, Your Majesty, but you don't have a choice. You must come with me. I'm sure Crispin can help you. So yeah, look at like, the Graham is so buff in this game, which I head cannon as being a result of the fruit he got in Kings Quest Four. Because remember, in Kings Quest Four, he was dying. He had a heart attack and nearly died. He was like a weak old man in that game. And now he's this big buff dude. Ooh, it'll help you to fly. You <clears throat> can follow me to the land of Serenia, where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. Ooh, I think Serenia. the dust is still good. The thing about Serenia, by the way, is that it's actually like from an older Sierra game. Like a really old Sierra game. Um, like one of the very first graphic adventures they ever did. Um, called Adventure in Serenia, or The Wizard and the Princess. Yeah, this is it. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> like, genuinely, you have to think about how this game was only two years after King's Quest 4. And look how, like, gorgeous these, like, backgrounds are. It's fantastic. Oh no, I missed the train. <laughs> Hype train didn't quite get there. What a shame. Oh well. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> Just two years. Yes, there are there are two years between King's Quest Four and this game. Because King's Quest Four was 1988. This was 1990. Here it is, down here. Come on. Okay, here I come. And there he goes. <laughs> Just wore off. Oh, really? Cedric, where have you been? I've been calling for you. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> oh, this guy. Clumsy, are you? Well, come oh, on you're stupid, Alan, and it killed me. No sense sitting around like a wet <clears throat> dog. Cedric, go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, I like this one. Mm. Protagonists do very often take flight in these games, yeah. This cutscene is still going, by the way. The Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. Suspension? It never seems to do any good, though. Crispin, why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that evil mind of his. Oh, I thought perhaps you could help his majesty, Crispin. That's why I brought him here. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know. Oh, really? But I've gotten a little rusty lately. <laughs> a little rusty? That's quite enough for you, <laughs> The way he just turned around like, Crispin, shut up! <laughs> I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. But let's see what I can find. Oh, here we go. Get you moving, old man. <laughs> I love how slow this is. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Watch him go all the way over to it slowly. No, that won't do. And he's, he's an old man. He's gonna cut him some slack. That's all used up. <clears throat> hmm. It might work. Here, eat this. He's got bad arthritis. Yeah, you're right. What is that? That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. You could find that quite helpful. That's why animals talk to you in this game. Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Gee, thanks, buddy. Most of its power may be gone. You should know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something. Oh, I need to fix my luck command, sorry. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that confounded Morlack could be up to. You go with him, Cedric. Show him the way. Oh, me. Yes, you. Don't be such a coward. Now go on. You'd better get started. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. All right, so we're finally here <clears throat> into the gameplay. That's like a why ten minute cutscene. How about it, Your Majesty? Yeah, sure. Why not? Please don't call me Your Majesty, Cedric. 
It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Oh, I'd be delighted to, Graham. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Well then, let's be on our way, Cedric. Let's go. All right, so here we are. Let's crank up the speed a little bit, because this game does get quite slow. Uh, we'll do a quick save as well, just to be, as the beginning of the game, you know, thing. And we'll be on our way. You could actually go back into the house, uh, but Chris will just kick you out. But it just gave you a little, like, sort of talking head for him, which you don't normally see any other don't time. Don't be wasting your time coming in here. Young man, I've done all I can for you. Now it's up to you. See, that, that's just a neat thing you can see. Well, anyway, I'm not going to be here for a little while. There's an emergency I have to attend to in a neighboring land. Oh, really? I'll try to keep an eye out for you, but this is something you and Cedric are going to have to do yourselves. I wish you the best, King Graham. I appreciate all you've done, Crispin. I'll be on my way now. Hey, you don't usually see the talking head uh, portrait for Crispin at all, so... That's the only time you can, you can have a look at it, I think. Um, so yeah, here we go. King's Quest V. So we, we are in the land of Serenia. Um, oh, actually, I need to bring up my map. Oh, I have a, I made a map earlier. Um, where did I leave it? Give me a second. I've had maps for, like, all my previous playthroughs of these games, so I'm just going to bring it up. All right, that looks good. Okay. All right. Um, here we go. Right. Let's get moving. Graham, watch out. A poison snake. There it is. That was the line. See how the path goes to the east up into the mountains? That's the road to Mordak Castle. You can also talk to the snake, I think. In silence, the large serpent eyes Graham menacingly. Oh, I was gonna try and sync it up. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you want me do you want me to reload so you can do it again? Alright, I will I will give you some time to prepare. Graham, what oh no! A poison a snake! It's okay. I'll get I'm gonna give you an opportunity if anyone wants to sync it up. Oh god, it's already going! No! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I think it's just a little loading screen for this. Right. Alright. It is time. I'm doing it. I'm going down. You better be ready. Three, watch oh no, out. I was... A poison Three, watch out. <laughs> a poison Close enough! <laughs> Close enough. Uh... Thank you for the hundred bits that go <laughs> that came through twice. Much appreciated. Um, right. So, where are we starting off? Cedric suggested we go to the town. Um, so I guess we'll do that. The town is just down here. We don't want to go to um the east yet because that's how we leave this area, and we'll need a lot of items in order to actually leave this area. So, uh, welcome to the town. Uh, as the greatest music of all time. Uh, Graham is slow. Let's come on, crank it up, Graham. Crank it up. If you're going into town, I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah, let's go. Banging tunes. So we've got a tailor. We've got toys, and we've got a shoe shop. Very nice. Not looking here. Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old rotting fish. Hmm. Graham leans way down into the barrel and removes, phew, the smelly old fish. Smelly old fish. Let's go. May I help you, sir? Yeah, that clock looks real nice. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, that cloak fits you perfectly. 
It just looks wonderful on you. Let me tell you, it will certainly keep you toasty warm during the coming winter. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Let me know if you wish to buy it. I would, but I have no money. I'm interested in buying something here. Hey, Malika, how's ah, it going? Let me show you some things. <clears throat> A fine piece of cloth. With this material, I can make you beautiful shirts. There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. Wow. With this, I could make you the finest trousers you've ever had. The finest trousers, well, eh? What do you think? I'm good. Uh, well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks anyway. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. Well, I, that's that's nice. We know we have a cloak to get from here. So. I don't like this at all. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Do you mind putting a shirt on? Ooh, there's something here. Bending down, Graham quickly retrieves the silver coin from the street. How about that? We have a coin and a fish. Got this music. Why is it so loud? Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. Ah, uh, it looks quite nice. That's a fine sled, isn't it? Any child would love to have it. Yes, I was just admiring the workmanship. Danke. If you'd like to buy it, let me know. <laughs> oh, well, I may do that at some point. There's a fish here. I never noticed that before. The shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? Grandpapa? Yeah, my darling? Can I keep this doll? I don't really like her. Now, Katrina, you know these toys are for sale for other kinder. Besides, you've got plenty of dolls. You can play with her, but just be careful. All right, Grandpapa. I'll take care of her. All right. A pet goldfish swims endlessly around in its fishbowl. Well, that's nice. Well, we know we need this sled. So we've got a, a cloak, a sled. What else can we get from here? <clears throat> Take a look around if you want, but we don't have any shoes to sell you right oh, now. Oh no! We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore, and we're getting too old to keep trying. Is there anything I can do to help? There ain't nothing you can do, short of buying us out. But like I said, if you want to look around, feel free. Okay, thanks. Does this town even know the talking to King Graham? Well, no, actually, because, um, this is the land of Serenia, um, and Graham comes from Devontree. He's basically just going to an entire different country. They don't know who Graham is. The old shoemaker wearily hammers tiny nails in a shoe sole. He doesn't even seem to notice Graham. I mean, he doesn't even dress like a king, so... Hey, how would they know? Alright, well... Well, that's the, the town. Let's just uh, leave this very loud area. And, uh... Tell you what we will do is we're gonna go to the west here. Uh, this is a another place we can buy things from. It's a baker. Let's have a little look. And make sure I don't fall in the river because you can do that. Because of course Ooh, you can. I'll wait for you here, Graham. And how is your poor dear mother doing, William? Oh, she hasn't been doing too well lately. But my brother and I help out whenever we can. How are you Thanks doing, Laura, by the way? Amanda. Austin, keep your fingers out of that pie. The pies look lovely. I think I'll take one. Yes, they were just made fresh this morning. Here you go. Wow, fresh yes, pies. This will be a fine dessert for our dinner tonight. Let's go home, Austin. Mm, crown? <laughs> the last of the pies. Welcome to our bakehouse, traveler. <clears throat> of course, all of our wares are wonderful, 
but today we've got a special on custard pie. Wow, custard Just pies? one silver coin each, but take your time. Let me know when you're ready. Well, let's have a look. Delicious, mouth-watering custard pies lining the tables and countertop attract mm. Graham's eyes. And Delicious. Nose. Look at the this cat. The Baker brothers seem to have a pet, a large, mangy cat. Aww. The cat doesn't look very friendly at all. These games have a bias against cats, and I don't know why. Anyway, where are the scarf? I can do that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, it said it's one silver coin, so let's buy one of these pies. Oh. Sir, I would like to purchase one of your custard pies. These pies cost one silver coin each. I've got it right here. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. Oh, I'm sure I will. How lovely. Can I talk to the cat? The cat doesn't appear to like Graham, much less answer him. Oh. Well. So we have a few things. We have a custard pie. We have, uh... We have that fish. You know. Things are looking up pretty well. We don't want to be in here yet at all. This place is dangerous. I think what we will do though. Let's look through this uh, haystack. Carefully, Graham searches through the haystack, but doesn't see anything of importance. Oh, okay. Well, it's worth a shot. Oh. Thanks, Cedric. Let's see what happens if we go up to the bear. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love that he just decks a Graham in the face. Kiss, kiss. Uh, you should know better than to feed the bears. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Whoa, that door is not loaded in correctly. Okay. I'm running this through ScumVM. I'm not entirely sure how well this game works through ScumVM. It seems to be going fine so far, though. Oops. <clears throat> Reality is falling apart. Alright. What you actually have to do... Uh, is give it the fish. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> I'm Queen Beatrice. Oh, boy. Sir. I wish to thank you ever so much for saving our hive from the claws of that horrible bear. In return, I offer you a luscious honeycomb from our hive. Please feel free what? to retrieve one. I promise my bees won't harm you. It may come in handy on your travel. Yeah, why did they why is the bee sexy? That's the question. Oh well. Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. I'm a stick. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth, he then pockets it. Nah, Graham's a married man. He, he wouldn't do anything untoward with the bees. Well, you know. Maybe it's the fact of the spell that allows you to speak to them that sometimes they just look attractive. I, I don't know how that works. Exactly. Anyway. We now have some honeycomb, a stick, custard pie, and the wand. Got some cool stuff. Let's head north. Oh no! A dog is terrorizing these the ants. of a dog terrorizes the poor ants. He oh. playfully digs at their large ant hill. Here. Here. Well, Allow me to introduce myself. How come you're not sexy? I'm That's the question. May I ask who you are? Why, certainly. I'm King Graham of mm. Daventry, and this is my friend, Cedric. We're seeking a way to cross the Great Mountains to the ocean on the other side. That is a very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider. But if you shall not, in return for rescuing our home from that place <clears> incur, <throat> I wish to offer you our help, if perchance you may ever need it. Thank you very much, King Antony. 
Cedric King and Anthony. I appreciate your kind offer. We look forward to meeting you again. King's just did it before Ant Man. Ah, oh, this music. Anyway, the music in this game is delightful. Ooh, there's nothing but a hot dry Ooh. desert for the west. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. Ooh, if you insist on going, I'll wait for you here. All right, well, uh, the desert is a is a dangerous place to be because you need to make sure you drink water or else you will be in trouble. I. Uh, if you stand close enough, the anthill grain will dance. Really? Hold on. Well, oh. there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Oh, okay. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen the adventures I've been on? <laughs> Ooh, is that a new dance, Graham? The Bugaloo? <laughs> All right. So, the desert. Oh, hey, well, runner. It looks like something may be after him. Meet me. Yeah, I have to be careful not to resize my game screen every time I go click the edge of the screen. All right, there we go. So... Uh, let's go that way. So one. Two. I have a map to consult here, so. If you're to pick up the road, run it says beep beep. Oh, I didn't even know that. Three. Um, one more and then one down. Here we go. You have to find the oasis to like, uh, just walk through it. Ah, life giving <laughs> water, nectar of the gods. I always Bring think of that line whenever I drink water. Life giving water, nectar of the gods. I sound like I'm thirsty and I need a drink. I, I just, that's, that's what I think. <laughs> also, thank you, Balthier. <clears throat> Right. I'm going to say, because we are in the desert, it's a bit dangerous out here. Uh, there's a lot of potential death in the desert. Um... So we're going to go one, two... And then down, uh, down two, I think? Let me down one. Down one. They want this shoe. Uh, this is the uh, the protagonist of the Wizard and the Princess, by the way. He just wandered out into the desert and died. Uneasily, Graham reaches down and removes the old shoe from the desert sand. Well, let's have a look at this guy. Uh oh, a picked clean and sun bleached skeleton lies in the sand of the oh, hot, no. dry desert. What happened? Who can say? But it makes Graham uneasy, nevertheless. Yeah, he's uh, he's not made it very far, that poor guy. All right. All right, we want to go down another couple times to the next uh, oasis. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must drink, and soon. All right, let's do it. Life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Lovely. All right. Now let's head uh, this way. Because we want to find a, a bandit camp. Because um, they have something that we're going to need. See, this, is, this bit of the game is vastly easier when you have a map that you've, you've prepared earlier. <laughs> Otherwise, you're kind of just wandering around and hoping for the best. I think that... Oh, did I go four there? 
I may... Okay, I think I'm in the right place. You do need to pay attention to how many screens you've crossed. Oh, here we go. Alright, this can be a little bit tricky. So, uh... Camp. Is this the one with the maze? Uh, there is a maze in this one. Assorted odds and ends clutter the inside of this small tent. Hmm. Right. Oh, we, we can't do anything here yet because we need to actually get the bandits to arrive. Ah, I see. Okay, hold on. We need to go up and then up. The hot sun. Okay. What did I miss? Uh, you've missed a few things. We've collected a few items. Cedric's been doing his thing. I'm just going to keep going north until we reach an oasis. Because there's one right about here, I think. Oh, no. Too late. Graham collapses and dies of extreme thirst. Ah, and we were one time. screen away. If only he could have found an oasis. Dying yeah. for a drink, Graham? Yeah. Yeah. Right, well... You know what, I'm going to reload this one instead. Um, this was... Hmm, let's go three... Okay. Three to the left, and then two up, and we should be all right. So we wanna we wanna get to um, a temple uh, in the in the desert um, because that will give us a, that'll make the bandits kind of spawn basically, and then once they spawn we can go back to their tent and uh, steal something off them. Right, great. Ah, life giving water. Nectar. You get the idea. All right. So now we want to wait. I uh, want to wait in a little hiding spot. From across the oh, desert sands, go. Graham can hear. I don't think they can see me here. Hopefully not. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Even those heads poking out. If they see you, you will die. Open sesame. All right. So we need to get into here. So we want that staff. Okay. Well, in that case... Go across one. And down... I think three. Mm. And then it will go down another three and then left one. Oh. Have I done something wrong here? Uh oh. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must dr I may have. Uh, gone the wrong way. Uh oh. Oh, I've made a mistake. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, God. Sometimes it's like this. Too late. Oh, God. Collapses and All right. Okay. Right. No, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's a little tricky, this. You've got to really be paying attention to how many screens you've gone across. Because um, if you make a mistake, you are screwed. Um, okay. Let's try this again. We've got to do the bandits again, but it's fine. Whoever you took a wrong turn in Arizona. Sometimes it's like that, you know? Okay, so one, two, three. Two. So if you go, don't go, like, enough screens, uh, you'll be in trouble. If you go too many screens, you'll be in trouble. You've, you've, you've just, you've got to, you've, you've got to pay attention here. Because, you know, 
The moment you get lost, you're pretty much screwed. Um. Okay. I wasn't expecting to be here. That's fine. I'm going to save once I uh, do this whole thing. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. So, uh... Are they... From across oh, there the we desert go. sands, Graham can hear the sound of approaching hoofbeat. There we go. Yeah, it's always guesswork for these games. All right. Let's skip through the dialogue here. As they do their thing. Open sesame. I can't skip through it. Okay. Save over this one. I think I'm going the right way. Unless my map's wrong. Hold on. Mm. I'm gonna go down three and then across two. That should be that should be a an oasis. I mean, this is basically a maze, so... Why not ask Ketchuk for help? I'd rather die in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Here we the go. hot sun and choking... You're going east when you should be going west. So true. Ah. Alright. I'm gonna do another save. I'm just gonna... Save Scum I went through this, because... Well, as I'm paying attention to the chat, it's easy for me to lose my place. We want to go down three again. And then... We want to go... <clears throat> left one. Okay. Here we go. Oh well, this is a, this is happening. Well, so you need to be really careful here not to wake this guy up. So you don't want to step on the carpet at all. Otherwise, taking care to be very quiet, Graham reaches out and takes the staff into his possession. All right. See ya, dude. Thanks for the staff. Okay. Controlling the Mojave really makes you wish for a nuclear winter. So true. Oh god. Am I gonna make it? I should make it. Okay, good. That's good, that's good. Okay. We're nearly done with this section. We just need to go right twice. And then up three times. And then we'll be back at the temple. So where we can use the staff to knock on the door, open sesame, and then we'll get some cool stuff out of it. But you can't be greedy. I'll show you that in a moment. Because if you're greedy, the game will punish you. I don't like the ringing noise. Yeah. Also, this is totally Petra, by the way. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. <laughs> ah. Right. I will right, we'll save first. So, this is going to be... Temple. Uh, we want to use our staff on the door. 
Open sesame. There we go. I love Graham's a little bit oh, no. too the staff broke. overzealous with it. So we can take bending down. That. Graham hurriedly picks up the gold coin from the temple floor. And we can take that. Quickly, Graham grabs the old brass bottle. But what if we want oh, some more my. gold? Look at all Look this at all gold. This treasure. Oh my goodness. Gather as much as you can. Hurry. The exit door is about to close. <gasps> oh no. Cheer up, Graham. At least you can practice your game of tiddlywinks. What a sad fate for King Graham there. Trapped by his own uh, greed. Also, Buddy Games Redeeming Hydration. Hello. So that's what happens if you try to get, uh, if you get greedy. But, you know. The game pretty much signposts the bits it wants you to take. Open sesame! Oh no! The staff broke! So we take this. Bending down. Quickly. And then we leave. And now no one will ever be there again. The staff is broken and is of no use anymore. Aww, well, the shame. Uh, but now we have what we need. Um, so I'm going to save over this. Um, oh, actually, tell you what I will do. I will show you what happens if you rub the lamp. Ah, oh, freedom at last. Now you spend the next 500 years in a bottle. Oh. Graham should know better than to keep things bottled up inside. Ah, uh, It happens that way. <laughs> Let's do a little, little refresh. Ah, life... So, we want to go back down, I would say, down to across four. Is it two? Yeah, it'll be two. And then we'll be out of this desert for good, because the, the ringing sound is very annoying. One. This man needs a water bottle, like, desperately, doesn't he? Two. They have a very similar. The uh, hot sun oh, soaking sands are taking their toll on Graham. Uh, they go? He must drink, and soon. Oh, it's it's three screens across. Whoops, my bad. Ah. All right. And now we just want to go all the way to the right, and we'll be out of the desert for good. <clears throat> Thank goodness, right? Okay. So we'll head back across here. Back across here. Great. And we've made it out. There's a forest over there. Right on the edge of a desert. How those two biomes connect is beyond me. Well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Yeah, no worries. Don't good. worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. All right, now that we're out of the desert, let's do a save. Desert done. We want to go up twice now. There is a, a wagon up here that we need to interact with. That's a little bit racist, Cedric. Within the gypsy encampment, Graham notices a tall. Yeah, this is a game from 1990. I, I, I don't know how else to. I, I, there's nothing else I can really say about that. You know. The sullen man doesn't appear to be the conversational sort. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on. A gypsy wagon is encamped here at the edge of the woods. On the side of the wagon, the words 
fortune teller have been painted. We need to have our fortune read. Can I open the door? Hello? Oh, there we go. It will cost you one gold coin to see Mademushka. Yeah, I have one. Don't don't you worry. Got it right here. You may see Mademushka now. Thank you. Warning. This cartoon contains material. No, yeah, you watch it, watch it. So, you are here to see Mademushka, no? Yes. Well, come closer. Sit down. I will tell you your fortune. I love the music in this bit. Already I can tell that you are on a quest of great urgency. We will see what we can find out for you. Looking um look into the crystal ball. Look, Mananin, look what <sighs> I have for you. Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander. Because of you, he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat, and there's nothing I can do about it. And that's where it links with King's Fist 3. About it. Since you're the one that did this to him, you're the only one who can turn him back again. Back to the wizard, Mananin. Alexander! I don't know how, Mordek. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across some magic spells and accidentally turned your brother into a cat. No, it was on purpose. It was definitely on purpose. It. You did you me, No, you did mean it. I don't know how to turn him back into a wizard. No, we we totally meant it. <laughs> You're holding out on me, little man. You're taking advantage of my good nature, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll feed your family to the cat, starting with your dear mother. <laughs> Remember what I said. I'll only give you a little more time to decide before your family becomes cat food. That is all. But I see that your mission is very dangerous indeed. I will give you something to help you. Here, where is it? it is uh, Morak can't change Mananam back because only the it original caster of the spell can do it. That's why he needs Alexander. Magic. Oh, so we have a thing. Kingdom. Be careful. That Mordek is a bad one. Thank you, Madam Mushka. What did the mum do though? She's done nothing. Valenice has not had... Uh... Sorry. Uh, Valenice has not had really much to do in any of these games. The first time she's playable is Kings for 7. So, uh, that is the only, t the only time when she'll actually be able to do things. Um, yeah. Right. So, we've done this whole thing. Uh, and we also have this amulet. The amulet is wow. attached to a soft leather thong. That's very nice. Uh, right, well, we're gonna go this way. Oh, madam. Sorry, I'm, I'm just going this way. Leave me alone. Oh, there is a tree. King, Kings of Seven's a bad one? No, Kings of Seven's good. I like Kings of Seven. I mean, it's not, like, as beloved as some of the early ones, I don't think. But a lot of people have a soft spot for it, including me, so. King Ghost 8 is the 3D one. Um, which I'm not going to be playing as part of this marathon. Uh, Miss Willow? Yes? You can talk? When I mean, you started the well, conversation, Graham. Can. What did you expect? Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. What's wrong? Everything's wrong, can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. I'm really a princess. You oh. see, my fiancé and I were walking through this wood when a nasty old witch came along and was instantly charmed by my handsome prince. When oh, he naturally wow. refused her advances, she jealously banished him to a faraway land and turned me into a tree. Oh. Then she stole my heart. Stole your heart? Yes. She turned my heart to gold and took it away with her. The only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Now, oh, no. all I have to cheer me up is my harp. It's quite magical, you know. It plays the sweetest music you've ever heard. Now, please, leave me alone in my sorrow. A graceful weeping willow tree grows beside a small pond created from her tears. In her branch-like arms, she clutches a beautiful harp as a child would a cherished toy. <coughs> What's wrong, Graham? That's salt water, 
<laughs> Can you get it to sing the song? Please, don't bother me anymore. Let me weep in peace. A graceful weeping willow tree. Well, okay. I remember you get it to sing this song, but you can sing a song. Oh, it's a gnome. An old grandfather gnome sits contentedly on an old stump and smokes a large pipe while watching his grandson at play. Mm -hmm, that's nice. Let's have a chat with them, actually. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just a little weeping willow. Yeah. yeah. It's very interesting. Let me tell you, I got a thing. Oh no, no, go ahead. It's grandson, not son, and I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I don't suppose it could be bought. If it could, the price would be very Dr. Cedric. Cheap. Ah, okay. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. All right, sorry, buddy. We will need this, but we'll we'll get that later. All right. I start to Cedric. Oh, what a fair bow she plays. Let's try to cheer her up, Graham. Here we go. How oh, will I find this heart of mine? Taken from me for some time. It's actually generally quite nice. Here I stand near my pool of tears. Here I'll stay throughout my years. A lot of musical talent with these games. So that, that is the princess turned into a weeping willow. Um, and this is the, uh, is the prince. Actually, let's have a look. What a wonderful bluebird. It could almost make Graham happy again if it wasn't for his family. Oh. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> uh, excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. I was wondering if there was anything wrong. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, there is. I've been searching everywhere for my fiance. She's a beautiful princess with long golden tresses, fetching blue eyes and smooth, creamy skin. Have you seen her anywhere about? Well, kind of. No, sorry. I haven't seen anyone like that. <clears throat> That's what I figured. No one has seen her. I bet that a witch who lives in the dark forest had something to do with her disappearance. Well, you're not wrong. I'll keep an eye out for her. <laughs> you're about to get the wrong tree. You're looking mm -hmm. for her. I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I'd better get back to looking for her. I'm not ever going to find her just sitting around here. No, you're thanks not. Thanks for your concern. Well, thanks, buddy. I guess we're going to go up to the north. Because we need to enter the forest. And now we have a, a protection amulet that will allow us to properly go in. Oh, it looks safe. The sign seems self-explanatory enough. Enter at your own risk. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll wear this then. The magic amulet begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. He then carefully tucks the amulet <clears throat> into the front of his tunic, hiding it from sight. Brilliant. Oh, no! Oh, I'm not going in there! Can't you read the sign? Come yes. on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. Go if you want to. I'll wait here. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Oh. Hmm. I want to go this way. All these frogs hopping about. Hmm. Actually, do we, do we want to go this way? I think we want to go to the to the right, actually. Oh, here we go. That was not what I expected. 
Ah. To Graham's great relief, it appears that the witch's magic has been stopped by the amulet he is wearing. Just as Madame Mushka said it would. Oh. Uh, well, that's that's fine. Uh-huh. Well, that stopped the magic from happening, but we need to get rid of her. Let's have a chat. What are you doing in my forest, young man? <laughs> Don't you know you're trespassing? <laughs> oh, I didn't know this was a private forest. You own it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sass. I own it. It's mine. And what did you do to my magic? I don't think you need to know. Now tell me something. How does one leave this confusing forest? <clears throat> I'll never tell. <laughs> I'm afraid you're stuck, dearie. <laughs> now you're my prisoner. We'll see about that. Well? Mm, yes. Won't we? <laughs> well, I'm going to save because I don't feel safe. And we've got quite a few things done here. Okay. Were we on eight, seven, save eight or seven? We're on save seven. Okay. I swear it does say slot seven, so that, that does kind of give me an indication. Um, we need to get rid of her. In fact, actually, let's see what happens if we approach her. Oh. You're not crossing my bridge, little man. Well, what you gonna do about it? Nothing, apparently. Okay. I guess I'll give you this lamp then. I mean, that sounds that's like a fair trade. There you go. What's this? Ah, oh, freedom at last. Now you spend the next 500 years in a bottle. Well, there we go. Well, what do you know? Good. That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. But now, how to get out of this dreadful forest? We have at least, uh, solved this problem. <clears throat> have a look here. A small, intricate spinning wheel is put away in the trunk. Hey, nice. Reaching a hand into the trunk, Graham retrieves Hobo the Brookins. small Brookins, love this wheel. game? Me too, dude. Welcome to the stream. Let's look at this lamp. An interesting incense burner hangs from a protruding tree branch. Occasionally, from within it, a tiny glint winks. Ooh, what's this tiny glint? What's this? Why, it's a little key. Ah, hey, nice. And what's this here? Hold on, is it here? There a we go. A small leather pouch is tucked away in the drawer. Give it to me. Graham reaches the drawer and removes the leather pouch. All right, what's inside it? Upon opening the leather oh. pouch, Graham discovers three sparkling emeralds. Well, how do you know? Well, that's everything we need from here. So, uh... We want to go down now. You mean the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> Have I played Tomb Raider 3 yet? Not yet, no. I'm, I'm working on finishing Tomb Raider 2. And then at some point after that, I'll be doing I'll be doing 3. Um, I'll save it for this one. But we're getting to Tomb Raider 3. Um, so if I recall... I don't like the whining sound that this is going... This is doing, you know? Uh. Am I still finishing, planning on finishing Tomb Raider 2 tomorrow? Yeah, that's the plan at the moment. Uh, where am I going? Thank you for the follow, Paul, bro. Much appreciated. Um... A large, rock-like creature blocks further passage to the west. Oh. Hello. Can I speak to you, large, rock-like creature? Um... I do not remember what to do here. Uh, 
unseen eyes seem to watch Graham as he stumbles confusedly through the thick maze of the gloomy forest. I think we need to find a specific thing here. The dark forest. <clears throat> but I don't know where the thing we need to find is. I genuinely don't remember. Where am I going? I mean, I'm, I'm meant to look for the heart here. Stream. That's where I was going wrong. I need to go up here. That's what I need. A small door built into the trunk of a large twisted tree catches Graham's attention. Uh, well, let's try opening it first. Graham tugs firmly on the door in the tree, but finds it securely locked. Oh, well, good thing we found a little key, huh? Graham finds that the little key fits perfectly in this lock. King's Just Six is my Graham most nostalgic game ever. Find a I love almost all the VGA graphic adventure games. The door of the twisted old tree. I I love uh, King's Just Six. Six Reaching is my is my favorite of the, of the King's Just series. It's Graham so good. Extracts the little golden heart. Well, hey, how about that? Um, go this way again. Go up here. How can I just? Do I just go. Ah, right, we go this way, don't we? Okay. You kind of just lost in the forest until you uh, <clears throat> find the way out. You know. All right now, I think. We'll be able to... There's a thing to do here. Hmm. I think I need to make it happen. Come to think of it. There's an elf here. Um, that we need to catch. And you do that by putting honeycomb on the floor. Graham squeezes the honeycomb as hard as he can which causes the honey to drip out of it onto the ground, creating a sticky little puddle at his feet. Now all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax, hey. which Graham puts back in his pocket. Um, Quest for Glory 1, Space Quest 4, Dago of Amon Ra. The only one I haven't played there is Dago of Amon Ra. I, I, need to, I need to give that a go at some point. Oh, we need to lure it out with the emeralds, don't we? I forgot about that. Here we go. Okay. That's why you get three of them. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Please, let me go. I beg of you. Why should I do that? What will you do for me? I'll show you the way out of the forest. If you let me go. How do I know I can trust you? I give you my word. The frog boy and sound is what my brain sounds like when I'm trying to concentrate. Word. Well, <clears throat> it's against my better judgment, but okay. Move over, Rocky. You're in our way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love Rocky. What a guy. Well, let's follow him. Follow me! In here! Alright, let's go, little man. Oh, 
love the Warning, backgrounds. This cartoon contains material. Yeah, 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 yeah. Warning, this cartoon contains material. If you don't want to see material, turn back now. Oh. Graham just pivots at a 45 degree angle there. Oh, I love this theme. <laughs> This game is so cute. I mean, how could you not love this? It's just delightful. I never take anything without giving in return. For your generosity in giving me those exquisite emeralds, I give you my finest pair of shoes. <laughs> your... May they help you in your quest. The elf is like, your shoes are raggedy. Take these nice ones. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> it's the way out of the dark forest. Thank you very much for all your help. I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for these fine shoes. Indeed. Bye, guys! <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I wish it was Graham's size, and if so, why do the elves have such big shoes? I don't know. Hello, Cedric! Oh, I'm glad to see you're okay. I was beginning to worry. Ah, you don't you worry about me. You were to in that dark forest, Cedric. I thought I'd never get out of there alive. <laughs> we blackmailed him to show us out the forest and we're still generous. I mean, yeah, we did, we did give him the emeralds, I guess, but it, it was through a, some very, uh, you know, not great means. We did capture him in order to do that. Anyway, gold heart. Actually, let's do a save. Just got to make sure I keep saving. Um, da -da -da -da. Okay, you can have your heart back. My heart. Oh. I don't need this old thing anymore. <laughs> she just tosses Look it. Look at me, I'm a princess again. Herbert! Alicia. Herbert? Oh. Oh well. That's nice, isn't it? Where have you been all this time, my love? Oh, darling. Just take me home. I'll tell you on the way. How cute. Anyway, if you don't want this harp, I'll now, love it. Why would she toss aside this beautiful harp? Oh, yeah. she doesn't want it. I'll take it. All right, well, let's also head back this way. Let's see where, let's see where they went. Oh. They're gone. But they left behind... A tambourine lies on the ground near the abandoned gypsy encampment. They left behind a tambourine. I'll Not take seeing it. seeing the tambourine's owner, Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground. Well, that's nice. Um... Ooh. And then now we have something that the gnome wants as well. So we'll get we're making progress. We've got all, all sorts of stuff that we need. We still need a, the, the cloak and the sled, of course. Um but we also have some extra help from some folks. Let's get this back to him. Where did you get this? I thought I had lost it. Oh, is it yours? I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. He's now meant to be like a uh, Rumpelstiltskin. Again. Kitty. You know, it ain't an ordinary spinning wheel. What does it do? Well, what's so special about it? Why, this spinning wheel can spin straw into gold. Wow. Except <clears throat> you've got to know who to use it. I don't even the witch could figure that out. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Now wait, not so fast. How about that marionette? Don't you think the price of the spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Boy, give that marionette to the man here. I love his, like, this one. terrible little Scottish accent Come that he on, has. Boys. It's so fun. Gather up some wood for a new puppet. I'll take that toy off the child. Thank you very much. <clears throat> oh, 
All right. Well, how about that? Very nice. Also, you mentioned the the point counter. It does still exist. You just, it's just not at the top of the screen now. It's it's here instead. So we're at 84 or 260 currently. Um, it's just in, in the menu rather than at the top of the screen. Even though they, they leave a gap at the top of the screen, it easily could have been there. You know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, anyway, we want to go... We want to go down here. Uh, although I'm going to do a save because... Uh, there's a thing coming up that we could e very easily miss, and we don't want to miss it. Um, no miss. Well, first of all, we're going to go down here, and the ants are going to help us with something. A large haystack dominates the area in front of the barn. Uh, see, can we find anything yet? Graham watches with surprise as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack oh. and begins to swarm through it. Here we go. Here's some more music for you. In theory. Here we go. Delightful. <laughs> I'm glad to see that it was a way that we could be of help to you. Look here. We found the golden needle in the haystack. Hey, the needle in the haystack. Thank you. To you. Much appreciated. Why, thank you, King Antony. I'm honored. Absolutely. So kind of you to do so. Travels, King Grim. And be careful. I will. Don't worry. Anyway, I ain't going to say because I'm going to show you something that happens if we try to enter this inn without permission. I say without permission. It's, it's Ooh, a... I'll wait for you out here. I don't <laughs> like that place. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Wow, this looks so friendly. Hey guys, what's going on here? But gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Diana's bull ain't got no more rooms. Hey boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Yep. You can get a game over by simply Trouble entering might, the inn. Graham could not escape his bonds. <laughs> we will Don't need worry, to be here. Graham. The innkeeper will soon put you out of your misery. Oh, that's comforting. Anyway, <laughs> don't worry, Graham. You'll be dead soon. <laughs> All right, we need to be on our guard here, because this is something very, very important. In fact, let's get our item ready to go. We need, uh, oh no, where is it? <gasps> Do I not have it? I might not have it. Oh. Oh, that could that could have been bad. I may I may have lost it in an earlier save. We need to go back to the desert. Ooh, whoa, that was a close one. I think I forgot to take that old uh, that old shoe. I took it at one point, but I reloaded the save, so I think I forgot to do it. All right, sorry everyone, we're gonna have to go back into the desert again. Um, all right. Hold on a moment. I'm gonna get my map. Back up so I can do this. We need another shoe. Uh, well, I needed to grab it. Um, an old shoe. Okay. Right. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's not too far in. So, we're going to go... One, two, three, four. And then four, four left. So, one... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Two. Th 
three. Four. And then down one. To the oasis. Life giving water, nectar of the gods. Ah, life giving water, nectar of the gods. Mm -hmm. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Great! That's good to know. Right. Okay. Did I go the right way here? I think I did. It's down and then left twice. Uh-oh. I think I just went left twice, didn't I? Oh, God. Uh, where did I go? Shoot. I hate this desert. The hot sun. Oh god. Have I screwed up again? I, I. This desert sucks. Yeah, I've screwed up. Oh, damn it. Alright, I'm reloading. Um, Sorry, everybody. I. This desert. I, I, I lose my place and then I. And then I. Uh. Okay. It's just, it's such like a big area and all like, all of it looks the same. It's easy to forget how many screens you've gone to go. One. Okay, I'm going to save it the, Hawaii, the Oasis this time because I, I screwed that up. Two. Three. <laughs> Pick me up. <laughs> it is a bit like the gnome in, uh, in the Half-Life Alex um, gnome series from Wind Raider. Absolutely. All right. Jesus. <laughs> ah. All right. I need a shoe. Okay. All right. Down one and across two. I, I, is that not what I did last time? I don't think it is, but you know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we didn't get the shoe. Oh, God, God's sake. What a silly goose we've been. All right, we're going down two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's good. The hut. And then we're going to go right two, up three. Right twice, up three times, and then we're just going to go all the way right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> right. And we just got to make a run for it. Because then Graham will be fine. I can't believe I forgot to get that shoe. That's the, the, the thing about Reload is sometimes you forget a specific item. See, luckily there aren't many that you need from the desert. You just need the, uh, the gold coin, the lamp, and the, uh, and the shoe. But, thank goodness, we got that. Great. Right, let's get my map back into position. Uh-huh. All right. Good stuff. Don't. Right now. Now. 
we will want to go across here. This is what we need to shoot for. Because there's a thing that happens here that if you don't uh, re respond in time, you can't beat the game. So let's get our shoe ready to go. Suddenly, frantic squeakings alert Graham to a mangy cat chasing a terrified rat. Alright, get out of here! Meow. Sorry, cat. Oh, thank you, thank you, good sir. Oh. All right. All right. So we get have to throw the shoe at the cat in order to save the mouse because the mouse uh, will help us. Anyway. Uh, we need to head back this way. We're gonna go back to town actually because we have some stuff to trade. We have this marionette, we have this golden needle. These are going to be very, very handy. Let's go into the loud music of the town. Oh, we also have the shoes as well. Oh, yes. Into the tailor. This guy's still may here. I help you? Uh, yeah, I, you can have this if you want. Hmm? My golden needle. Wherever did you find it? In a haystack. It was in a haystack by the country inn. By the inn? Oh yes, I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. None, none whatsoever. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours. For the price of a golden needle. Let's do it. <clears throat> Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. Thank you, sir. All right, we have a cloak. We're going to need that. Been looking for the last hour, but in a bit. But look, you see this game in action now? Oh, yeah. Come on in. Yeah, yeah. I would like to give you this lovely doll. That craftsmanship is excellent. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it. Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled in trade. Buy, of course. But I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I, I can always make another sled. But finding another marionette of this quality... Ich weiß nicht. So, can I have the sled? Yeah, yeah, take it, it's yours. Excellent, a sled. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and danke for the marionette. So, um... Any this this these Papa, what did you put looking at? Shush, I'll do that. shush, shush. This like these like little marionettes up here. Does anyone know that like meme of the dancing like stick men with the like? I don't know how I would tell uh, how to explain it. They look exactly like that. I can't unsee it right now. Grandpapa. Yeah, my darling. Let me see if I can find can it I for you. I really like her. Uh, now, to say that you know these toys are for sale for other kinder. Besides, I've got it. Okay. You've got plenty of dolls. You can play mid air, but yeah, just be careful. All right, Grandpapa. I'll take care of well, her. Give me a moment. Hold on. And let me to explain. This, this is what I mean. These ones. This right here. Looks like this. I don't know how else to explain it, but it looks like it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 all I have to say. Anyway, uh, 
Anyway, they were leaving this place. <laughs> Cobra wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. It's you again, is it? Oh, yes. We still don't have any shoes for sale. I will change that. How about these fine booties? What have we here? Mama, take those shoes from the young man. Let me see them. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes are superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. <laughs> Why well, could we yeah, let George Lucas see those? <laughs> Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You are a god, said young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Hey, a hammer. A use for it. I will. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Can I pet this dog? Oh, that's a good question. Thank I might you. be able to. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. Take care, young man. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. How nice. Come on, Mama. Let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. Oh, the dog is leaving. No! We will never know. Well. We're done with the town now, at least. So we can get get out this, get away from this music. Oh, thank goodness. <clears throat> Alright, we almost have everything we need now. Uh, so we want to go back to the inn. Um, and this time, we'll have an escape route. A lot of this game kind of depends on the knowledge of, like, like you have to know how you're going to die in order to be able to solve those problems. That's the way these games kind of operate. Like, once you know where you can die, you, 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 you kind of work backwards from that. Alright, well, let's go. Ooh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that. That's fine. Oh, can I pet this dog? The dog is just out of Graham's reach. Aww. A gentleman. Diana's. Hey, boss. This guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Oh, no. He's been captured. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. But... The mouse is here. With a machine gun. I told you I'd repay your kindness when you saved me from that horrible cat. Good luck, friend. Thanks, mouse. Well. Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. Great. Well, we are here. But we're not quite out of the uh, out of the woods yet, so. A rusty padlock securing the door prevents Graham from leaving the cellar. A rusty padlock, eh? I might be able to do something about that. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. All right. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Ooh. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg of lamb. Very nice. A leg of lamb. That'll come in handy. Anyway. Uh-oh. We gotta plan our next job, you guys. I went the wrong way. <laughs> hey! How did you get out of the cellar? Graham, don't just stand there! This time, rub them out for good. That wasn't a very smart move. Alright, well, uh, I forgot that you need to go the other way. That's fine. Using 
This man needs a new shirt, desperately. If only he wasn't beating up every single person that came into his inn. Inside the car. Reaching in. Let's go this way instead. Finding the kitchen. All right, this is the way we need to leave. Oops, I did not mean to go back in. Okay, great. So now we have everything we need to leave this area. What is if you re-enter? I think it's probably the same cutscene. This time, rub them out for good. Oh, it's it's pretty much the that same thing. Wasn't a very sm yeah. He just goes, yeah, it's time, rub them out for good. Oh, yeah, let's, let's do the, the, the stream death as well. This one's always fun. No cream, don't! <laughs> Too bad. Graham's swimming skills were no match for the mighty river. This man never learned how to swim. <clears throat> he is very accident wrong. There is a lot of bad things that can happen to Graham. Poor guy. Oh yeah. Like I said, we have everything we need. And well, I'm just gonna double check all that. Because I'm pretty sure we do. Here's the, the uh, poisonous snake. Um, we have the harp, the custard pie. We have this, what is that again? Graham carries a softened lump of beeswax. The beeswax. This is a large mouth-watering leg of lamb. A leg of lamb. A good strong rope is a... Uh-huh. A cup. A hammer, that, that, and that. That is, I believe, everything we need. And in order to get past the, uh, the snake, we need to use the tambourine. Be gone, you slithery varmint. Scat! And there we are. I'll do a save here, just in case. Um, <clears throat> save up with this one. Because this is, this is the end of this area. Which is pretty much the, the major chunk of the game. Now, we are in the a snowy area. Later. The game becomes less uh, open at this point. And it kind of becomes a bit more of a linear path. Um, ooh, we're cold, huh? Guess we'll just put on this then. Graham dons his warm cloak for protection against the freezing mountain air. Oh, great. Now we won't freeze to death. We went in front of the... <laughs> in front of the letters there. I think we need a Graham scream here. Oh, I'll, I'll get you one. No worries. You guys ready for the scream? No one screams like King Graham in this game. Nobody. <laughs> that was a fatal step. Well then. So we need to climb up here. We have a rope though. That's handy. Well, this seems nice and safe. Oh, be careful, Graham. Thanks for playing King's Quest V. <laughs> That's all we get? All right. So we need to attach it, I think, to somewhere else, like the rock. It's this Graham rock here. Graham notices his stomach beginning to rumble with hunger from the exertion of the mountain climb. All right. Rumbling with hunger, huh? Well, eat some, uh, eat some lamb then. Graham finds the leg of lamb a bit tough, but tasty enough. Filling up quickly, he saves the other half for later. Great. <clears throat> yeah, we need to use this small, sturdy rock. Oh, this bit's a little bit tricky. Uh, steps. 
Um, there is, um, hmm, there's an order to this, and I can never remember which it is. Oh, do be careful, Graham. I will not. So, right. Uh huh. Are we gonna? Are we gonna game over? <laughs> I may have. Hmm. Uh... I may have broken the game. It's fine. <laughs> Let's just relaunch it. Right. Okay. Um. That's how you do it. No. Not like that, though. I want to go across the log. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Cedric. Oh, well. We have to follow on our sled. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the middle mountain does look like the Sierra logo. Absolutely. Oh no, the sled! Drat, my sled is broken. Oh no. Well. <clears throat> hey, buddy, what's up with you? Perches weekly upon a small rock. Despite his own problems, Graham's heart goes out to the poor thing. You need anything, buddy? Let's have a chat. What's wrong, Mr. Uh, Eagle? I'm so weak from hunger. I haven't been able to catch any food for days. I can barely fly anymore. I'd like to help you. Let me see what I can do. <coughs> Thank you. I need food. Great voice acting. Um, hey, I still have this half a leg of lamb. Here, take this. Perhaps it will help you. Very nice. That goes down a tree, huh? You are a kind man to share your meager food with a poor bird, especially up here in these snowy mountains. Well, I couldn't just stand there and let you starve to death. What kind of person would I be? Yeah, we need to feed this bird or else we'll be in trouble later. to be a kind, compassionate man, and I will not forget <clears throat> what you did for me. Goodbye, dear friend. So yeah, you don't help this bird, you will be screwed later. It's a, it's a very common theme with this game. If you don't help people, you will not be having a good time. So, anyway. We're going to go into this ice castle now, because that sure seems like a safe idea. Oh boy, wolves. Ah, it's the Ice Queen. I am Queen Isabella. Queen and Isabella. my domain now. I command you to kneel before me. Since both you and your friend over there she have to chill out, right? Yeah. My territory without my permission or knowledge, I have decided you shall both be put to death. Take him away, my pet. Wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you do that, have you considered uh, music? Warning: This cartoon contains material that may. Wait, my pet. Music in your right ear. Only your right ear. Mm. I specialize in non-stereo music.
That was very lovely music. I've never heard anything quite that beautiful before. I think I felt my heart melting. Just a little bit. Just enough, that is. To allow you a chance for your freedom. A Great. Little yeti has entered the anyway, area, here's Wonderwall. Taking up residence in my prized crystal cave. So far, I have been unable to extricate him from either the cave or my territory. Oh. If you can rid me of the yeti, I will release both you and your owl friend. And you two can continue on your journey unhindered. Great. You may rise now. I wish you luck in defeating the yeti. We have if to you beat a yeti. Me, you will have my undying gratitude. Go with him, Sir Grey Wolf. Show him the way to the Crystal Cave. You may go now. Sir Grey Wolf will lead the way. Get into the yeti. Oh yeah. I've been dealing with a yeti, lot of yetis lately. Between this uh, King's Quest Three, that has a yeti. Tomb Raider 2 has yetis. This game has a yeti. I'm just drowning in yetis right now, you know? Yonder's the crystal cave. There uh, you will find a yeti. I love the voice acting of this wolf. Sir Wolf, I don't know how you expect me to And Kyrandia too, yes! Why, he's got to be at least twice as big as me and much, much more powerful. <clears throat> what do you expect me to do? That is your problem, not mine. It has been decreed by Queen Isabella, and I must carry out her wishes. <laughs> now, no more talking. Go to the Crystal Cave. <laughs> I feel like the uh, the voice actor is barely making it through those lines without laughing, <laughs> which is so funny. <laughs> it's such a terrible performance. I adore it so much. Um... Anyway, we have a Yeti problem to deal with, and of course you guys know what's up. I'm sure you, you all heard of it by now. Oh god, it's a Yeti! Would he like a custard pie? He sure would! Well then. Look at these beautiful crystals. We'll, of course, want to take one of these with us. How do you fight a yeti with comedy? So very gently, Graham hits the beautiful crystal several times with his hammer until it breaks loose in one piece. He then carefully places it among his other possessions. I love the uh, background of this area. It's so pretty. All right, well. That was dealing with the Yeti. That's all you have to do. You throw a pie at him, you grab a crystal, and you are done. All right, buddy. I'm ready to go. I see that the Yeti is dead. Queen Isabella will be pleased. Come, follow me. That's done. Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be... I know the cartoon contains material. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> ah, good. You have returned in victory, I presume. Yes, your majesty. The Yeti is dead. He will no longer be a scourge upon your realm. Are my friend and I free to go now? Yes. I keep my promises. I want to thank you for ridding my mountain domain of the horrible Yeti. No problem. Please rise, King Graham. Yes, I know who you are, <clears throat> and I have been informed of your quest. I do wish you luck against the wizard Mordak. Cheers. You two may go. We wish you well on your difficult journey. Sir Greywolf will show you the way out of the mountains. Art thou winning, my liege? Oh, yes. With a name like Isabella, her fate was sealed from birth. 
I think the 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 um the King's Quest um twenty fifteen remake adds a little bit of context to I- I- Isabella as a character. Um, there's a there's a chapter like uh called Snow Place Like Home, which has a character very similar to Isabella. I I'm well, I'm pretty sure it's intended to be Isabella. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> I didn't mean to skip through that. I'm go- oh. oh god damn it! I'm not winning. Winning apparently. Oh come on! Have I? Do I need to do this all again? Ah crap! <laughs> I didn't save. Oh Jesus! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god! Okay. I think I went the wrong way anyway. Sure. Right. You probably see a Yeti fall off the screen. Yeah, I'm. I'm just redoing this bit because I, I messed up. I <laughs> Ice. <laughs> Warning. This cartoon can. It's fine. Ice. I think we have to climb up here. Is that alright? Where do we go? Oh no, I know where to go. Hold on. Ooh, if you're going back to the dreaded Yeti cave, I'll wait here. I can't remember where to go. There's a way you have to go here. And I don't remember what it is. Um. What do you do here? Can I go back this way? Oh, yes, I have to go this way. <clears throat> I'm going to climb something here. Oh, I have to... Okay. Graham, watch out! Oh, my God! A giant... Bird with two heads. Oh. All right. Well, this is certainly a situation that we find ourselves in. But don't worry, we'll be fine. First of all, grab that Ray before. Rescues a lovely golden locket from the leafy clutches of the rock's yeah. nest. You need to grab that as soon as possible. Um, because otherwise you can't complete the game once again. Anyway, here are some giant birds. Or rather, one giant bird with two heads. Uh, nice birdie. Good birdie. <laughs> uh, Gucci, Gucci, goo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, though. The eagle we saved earlier Hang comes on. to our help. I'll get you out of this. Oh, and we lose our cloak. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Graham, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. You'd never believe it, Cedric. You'd never believe it. Yeah, the cloak was nice. It's a shame it's gone. Anyway, look at this iron bar. The heavy iron bar is a bit rusted from being out in the weather. Oh, well, nice. We are now on the beach, and there's a boat up there that we need to get to. Look, Graham, there's a boat here. Oh, 
Maybe we can use it. Maybe indeed. Let's have a closer look, though. An old cast-off sailboat sits forlornly <clears throat> on the narrow sandy beach. Mm -hmm. An old. Is then there a hole in it though? I can't remember. Well, let's see what happens if we use it. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> what else? There's a hole in the boat. Oh, Lord. Help, help. <laughs> Ah. Thanks for playing. Well, that's the problem. That's the solution. Firmly, Graham wedges the softened piece of beeswax into the small hole in the boat's hull. Hopefully, the wax will hold and make her seaworthy. All right. I am just going to very quickly... Um, hold on. I'm going to very quickly go to the toilet. I will put this on the on the restore screen so you don't have to listen to the water rushing constantly. I will be right back. Not to worry. Actually, I'll, I'll change the screen as well. I might as well change it to the... Uh, eh, I'll be back in a moment. Like, literally only a couple minutes. Don't worry about it. Okay. Right. We are back. I need to change the thing. One second. Headphones in, scarf back on. And back to here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Alright, let's push this boat now. Although, I'm going to save before I do it. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat. All right. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's get sailing. Now, if we go the wrong way here, we will be uh, in danger. Um, I think we just have to go this way. That way, and then down once, I think. Yeah, that's it. Look, Graham. Ooh, an island. Perhaps hey. We should explore it. <clears throat> Perhaps we yes, should. I think we should, Cedric. That'd be nice. Let's do it. Getting kidnapped again. It always happens this way, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh my. Where did you find him, Minata? We found him on the beach. Isn't he lovely? Hmm. I don't know. He doesn't look like my type. What do you think, Krulina? I think he looks too old and tough. I think oh, you like music. To be young and tender. There we go. I'm tired of fish. I haven't had a man in months. 
enjoy. What are you doing? What's that thing? I don't know, but I want it. Oh, well, there goes my hop. Hey, get up here! Come on, get, get, her, get, her, get, get her. her! Get her! Well, that solves that problem. Also, there's a thing here. You can kind of see it glinting. Again, Graham we need this to win the game. Down and rescues the fish hook from the ground. Hey, hey. So we're on Harpy Island, you know, as you do. And we found a fish hook. Oh no, Cedric! Poor Cedric. Having been seriously wounded by the vicious harpies, he now lies moaning and in pain upon the sandy path. Graham, help me! Oh no, little man, come here! Cedric, where do you hurt? Everywhere. <coughs> oh no. It's so sad. I'm gonna go this way. Where am I going? Graham, watch out! A poison <laughs> Hey, Jeff, thank you for the hundred bits. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> that last step was a doozy. I didn't know he could fall there. <laughs> the way that Cedric just tumbles out of his hands. Oh dear. Oh god. I I feel terrible. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cedric, where do you hurt? I think we do have to go this way. We have to click right at the edge of the screen. What's this? Graham bends over and picks up the beautifully colored shell. All right. <clears throat> We're sailing again. We're gonna save Cedric. We only came here for a fish hook in a shell, you know? Alright. Actually, I want, to see what, I want to show you what happens when uh, you go the wrong way while sailing. That's what happens. That was a nasty sea creature. So yeah, if you go the wrong way, you get eaten by a sea monster. So, yeah. So it's pretty much just trial and error to find the right way to go. That was a nasty sea creature. Oh, hey. This is where we want to be. A crude door has been built into the front of the unusual house. Graham pounds on the door, <laughs> but he finds it bolted from the inside. He can, however, hear activity within. Hmm. Who are you? And what are you doing on my beach? I'm King Graham of Daventry, and I'm on a journey to find the wizard Mordax Island, but I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Hey, Can you give me a hint? What's that you say? Oh, oh, you need a little bit of help hearing, don't you? Here, take this. What's this? Now, what were you wanting? My owl friend is hurt. He was wounded by the harpies. Wounded by the harpies, did you say? We'll bring him on into the house. I'll fix him right up. Good as new. Great. Thank you, old man. Lay him on the bed there. These poultices should fix the little fella up. Good as new. <laughs> Ooh, I'm 
feeling better already. Tell me, what was in those poultices? My employer would be very interested in them. Hey, what was that? I said, what was in those poultices? Cocaine! My would be interested in them. Gifts from the sea, lad. Gifts <laughs> from the sea. Gifts from the sea, huh? Special. Mm. You just gotta know how to use them. I don't think he'd find them particularly interesting. <laughs> Great. Now, son, what was it you were trying to tell me before? I was trying to find out where the Wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped my family and is holding them hostage there. I must get to them before it's too late. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear about that. He's a nasty one, that Mordak. I wouldn't want to tangle with him. I tried to talk you out of going there, except I can see you can't leave your poor defenseless family unaided. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Great. Follow me outside. Well, that's very nice of him. Oh, hey, mermaid. Pearl, this man needs your help. He needs you to lead him to Mordax Island. It's a real emergency. Mordax's holding his family hostage. Pearl can't speak human talk, but she's agreed to help you. Just Great. get on into your boat and follow her. Cedric and I want to thank you for all your help, Mr. Uh... Don't worry about who I am. You just get on over to that there island and take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. We're off. Come on, Cedric. Well, there we go. Just some random hermit. Who gives us everything we need and sends us on our way. <laughs> How do you know he, he she's agreed to help? Exactly, right? Alright, we're about to enter the last area of the game now. Oh. This place looks safe. Oh no, the rocks! Brace yourself, Cedric! Oh no, the ship! Oh my goodness. Help me, I'm caught! Oh, help! Are you alright, Cedric? He gets injured again. Well, let me see. The injured character is based on the character oh, from the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Oh, I'm man. enough! Just a bit ruffled is all. All right. Uh, well, here we go. This is uh, this is where I get down to it, everybody. This is Mordax Island, and I will show you my favorite death in the game: the shortest fall. No, Graham, don't. Ah! <laughs> oh, that last step was a doozy. Ah! <laughs> uh, a dead fish. Well, well, take maybe it then. I can use it. Yeah. Uh, you fall like, uh, like hardly any uh, feet at all. It's ridiculous. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is dangerous like as well. It's creepy. Well, let's see what happens if we just walk through it then. Oh, mm, yeah, that doesn't work. Too bad. <laughs> it looks like the. Eyes have it. So what we need to do is, uh, oh, hold on. we need to use the crystal here from the cave. There we are. Hmm. We can't get in this way. No way in. Let's turn back. No, Come Cedric. On, Cedric. Yeah, big scaredy cat. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Horrible death? You know? Death? We could go this way. Ooh, this looks important. See? Dead end. Let's go back now. No, I'll figure this out. Alright, so we need to get into this, uh, this here. 
A curse of fatal death, oh indeed. I've played well, this game do before. Do you have any better ideas? No, uh, mind if I wait for you here? No, that's a good idea, Cedric. You be the lookout out here. Uh, yes, I'll be the lookout. Ooh, be careful, Graham. All right, here we go. It's maze time, everybody. Luckily, I have, uh... have the map ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Mandrel maze? Oh no. <laughs> I'm not quite mandrel maze, but there is something in this maze. This guy. What's up, buddy? A huge beast, hmm. sporting a fluffy topknot, bound in a crude hairpin on top of his head, skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. Well then. Uh, do you like music by any chance? Well, that was that. Graham reaches down and grabs the hairpin off the labyrinth floor. Well then. Yeah, we're now we're facing the other way, aren't we? Okay. The thing is confusing about this maze is it actually actively like faces you in a specific way, which is kind of a uh, kind, of, kind of strange. Caco cam? Sure, let's do that. So we're meant to get to. Hmm. This way. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we want to go to the right and to the left. It's a little bit of a confusing maze, this one. It's uh, but it's not too dangerous. It's just a little bit confusing. See what I'm looking at here. I just came from there. This way, uh, I think. Sorry about the dog barking. Ah, that's the wrong way. Ah, okay. I went the same direction again, didn't I? Okay. This is why it's confusing, because it doesn't... It changes the perspective when you turn around. Ah, here we go. Graham tries to open the wooden door. Alright. So, we need to use the hairpin here to open the door. Graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers, to his amazement, that it fits perfectly. Wonderful. Turning it ever so gently, he soon hears a soft click, and the door is unlocked. All right, we're in the castle. We'll need to be back in that maze in a little bit, but it's all right. We're doing at least the first uh, instance of the maze. Um, first of all, we need to go into here. Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. Ooh, dried peas. Reaching into the open cupboard, Very nice. Graham retrieves the bag of dried peas. Very handy. And then we'll head through here. Ah, who's this? A lovely young girl with long black hair, olive skin, and flashing green eyes laboriously scrubs the cold stone floor. Though wearing rags, her beauty nevertheless shines through. Don't come near me! Leave me alone! 
I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. I don't believe you. You're probably one of them. I'm not. Believe me. Just go away. Please. So, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, the prototype of Girl in the Tower. Because this is, this is Princess Cosima from the Land of the Green Isles. Um, however, we did get that locket earlier. It is a lovely golden locket on a delicate chain. Upon opening the locket, Graham sees a portrait of an older couple in regal attire. So as not to damage the picture, he quickly closes it again. Hmm. Maybe this belongs to you. Warning. This cartoon contains material. The cartoon contains material, everyone. I hope you're ready for that. Here what we go. Where did you find my gold locket? I thought it was gone for good. <clears throat> I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. But tell me, who are you and how did you come to be here? My name is Princess Cosima from the Kingdom of the Green Isles. My father, the king, employs a horrible wazir who befriended Mordak. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. Naturally, I refused and my father agreed with me. But our refusal angered him so much that he stole me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go. That a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought was. But I wanted to marry her, yeah. What am I to do? Don't worry. I'm here to save my family from the evil wizard. He's got them here someplace imprisoned inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, then of course I wouldn't forget you either. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. Ah. Be quiet about my presence. <laughs> He's got a nice castle I and plenty of peace. The most difficult part of my what more could a man want? I may not <laughs> survive it. I would never give you away. And I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. So we need to give her that locker in order to get her to trust us, basically. Anyway. Um, yeah. I'm going to go this way. Okay. So, at this point, we also want to get captured. Because there's a, there's a reason we want to be in a jail cell here. But we'll, we'll get let out of the jail cell because of Cosima. So, you know. See if we can find the big blue guy. A hideous yet fascinating pipe organ commands attention as Graham walks through a downstairs hallway. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Hmm, this seems perfectly safe. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we want to be in here. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, what's this mouse hole? Graham can see a small, moldy piece of cheese oh, hell yeah. inside the mouse hole. Scar! This is why we need the fish hook. There, got it. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. Let's go. Anyway, we'll just have to wait around now until we can get let out. Because Cosima will be able to help us. Do -do -do. Free moldy dungeon cheese, hell yeah. Yeah, Wallace would be very proud. Oh. Hello. Hello what? there. Oh, Princess Cosima, where did you come from? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Friends? Yes, like Zink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway. I found this blue stone uh, the, that led here. The this creature path? that we played the tambourine or gave the tambourine to is called here. Dink. He's just, a, he's, just a, he's just a guy, you know? Guy loves music. Alright, we need to follow um, Kasima to let her out of this. Uh, let us out of this dungeon. See, at least we have a guide now, you know? Graham is confused by this concept of friends. 
There we go. Good stuff. And I think now we've covered everything we need to with the maze. Um, so now we need to use our peas. So because we need to get rid of that um, that blue guard. Because that blue guard is going to be a problem unless we find a way to get rid of him. Get him! Kill him. <laughs> well, that happened. Yeah, can we do something now? Hello? Game? Are we going to. Is he gonna let me. Yeah, Scum VM does have a couple of bugs with this, but. I may have to reset. I need to soft lock me. Oh no, I'm actually, am I fine? Oh no, I'm fine. Never mind. I thought I'd, I it wasn't letting me move there. A large beast lies. Uh, well, there we go. That's the creature defeated. So I guess we'll go down. If we see a cat here, we need we need to be careful. A cat is a is a dangerous thing. Oh god! I thought we defeated him. Oh, oh hey. Okay, that's a laboratory. No, I don't want to be up here. Not yet, at least. I need to... Oh, I might have missed a step. Hold on. I right, hold on. Oh, God! Yeah, I missed a step. Goodbye, King Graham uh, of Daventry. Uh... <laughs> well... Oh, my God. Look at that wiggle. He's dead. Poor Graham. Mordak shows no mercy. Yeah. All right. We need to go. We need to find the cat. Aha. Mananan the cat. Don't bother the cat with that. No. Don't. I need to. Don't. Cap I need to capture the cat in the sack, though, don't I? Don't bother the cat mean? with that. Oh, god damn it! How did that? Was... Oh, it's the wrong bag. It's the pee bag I need to use, isn't it? I was using the wrong, wrong one. Ah. I really have two bags to use. As you do. Where are you, kitty cat? Two different shoes, two different bags. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Great! That has solved that problem.
cat. Isn't that Mananan though? Oh yeah, that's Mananan. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So we need to go down here now, which I think should be all right. Um, I'm going to a large tome lying open upon a corner desk attracts Graham's curiosity. Ooh. Let's have a look. <clears throat> hmm, this looks interesting. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. Well, that's handy at least. <clears throat> So now we need to wait here. Mordecai waited with old fish and, his, and a bag of his own peas, yeah. Yeah, we need to wait for Mordecai to go into his bedroom and then go to sleep, because then we can sneak past him, um, and we have several things we're going to do in order to, to best him. So, uh, just have to do the old waiting game. Throw back to King's Quest 3 when we're waiting for wizards. Waiting for wizards to do things. So, uh, nice, nice, nice little study here. A little books. I like the eye on this, uh, on this thing up here. That's cute. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. It shall arrive exactly when they mean to. Yeah, that's that's the way of things. Many books and scrolls line the shelves. Come on, Mordak. <clears throat> it's sleep time. Aren't you getting tired? It's it's hard work being a wizard, you know. You know you got you got a lot of spells to cast, you know, castles to steal, that sort of thing. It's, it's rough. It's rough. Hey, Tim, has a subscription with Prime. Thank you so much. Ah, there he is. Okay. Right. Now he's he's asleep. He's an EP wizard. Alright, now that you're asleep. I hope you don't mind if I just take this wand off you. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I remember at the beginning of the game, we were giving Crispin's little crappy wand. We have to charge it up. And, um, yeah. All right. Graham has no idea what Mordek does with this strange contraption, mm. but it couldn't be good. Inside the lower portion, a foul-smelling liquid bubbles, <clears throat> while two dangling spiked gizmos hang on a massive yoke above a couple of flat iron platters. Right, well... Let's uh, pop these ones in place. They're not so mean as the they make you put it on a specific pedestal. It'll always put them on the right one. So, All right, and then what you have to do is put the moldy cheese in here. Why do you do that? Who knows? Graham tosses the moldy cheese. I think there is a reason. I can't remember off the top liquid. of my head. That is, that is like a law reason from the. I mentioned it in my video, I think, a long time ago. But I don't exactly remember. Magic is lactose intolerant. Yeah. Mordak 
Jack's wand now barely glows. <clears throat> Perhaps its power has weakened while Crispin's old wand now appears completely energized. Lovely. What's going on here? Uh-oh. I'll take care of you, you swine. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, hey, Cedric. Nice of you to join us at the last moment. Cedric, no! What the? What have you done to my wand? I cheesed it. You think you can outwit me, little man? Ha! Yes. Let me show you a thing or two. Okay. Right, well. Uh, what we need to do is magic now. First up, Tiger. It's magical combat. Let's do this. Why, you little... Yeah, that's the first step. Oh. Um... Oh, which one's which? Hmm. We need th I think we need this one. That's it. That's right. It's a rabbit. think you're so smart, don't you? Yes. Well, I've got you now. <clears throat> Dare I cheese the boss? Oh, it's a snake! A poisonous snake! Okay. Don't worry, I have just Say the thing. Goodbye, swine. I will turn into a mongoose. Get mongoosed, bro. Among us? What play? Oh. Oh no, he's fire. I guess I'll just have to be water then. Or just create water. Oh. And that is Mordak defeated. We extinguished him. Literally. Warning, this cartoon contains materials. Now why won't you work? We have beaten the game, by the way. We just have to watch the end cutscene now. Oh, Princess Cosima. Well, I did it. Mordak is dead. Woohoo! Dead? Are you sure? Maybe he's Pretty sure. trying to trick you. He's dead, all right. He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He turned himself into a pickle. It was the funniest thing I'd ever, ever seen. Again. But now I have a bigger problem. I don't know what to do about my family or my castle. I don't know how to turn them back to normal. After all you've been through, <laughs> Cedric is still dead. Be away. <laughs> yeah, Cedric is still dead <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I have the solution to all your problems, Graham. Great. Oh, my bones hurt. <laughs> While you and Cedric were gone, I did some asking around, and I found out that your son, Alexander, had the dubious distinction, if you may, of turning Mordak's brother, Mananan, into a cat some time back. I remember this, Obviously, yes. Obviously, this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it, since this particular spell could only be undone by the actual perpetrator, your son. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge <clears> to <throat> try to persuade Alexander to restore Mananan back to his old self. I did discover, as now I see, that your castle and family were miniaturized and imprisoned inside a glass bottle. 
I did some research and found the spell for turning everything back to normal. Thank you. Now watch. Hocus, hocus, alliocus. Hey, hey. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Valony, my children, my joy knows no limits. Oh, Father, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, Princess Cosima, how could I forget you? Come over here. <laughs> Cedric, still in pain. <laughs> you can just still see him in the corner. It's, it's Let so me funny. introduce you to my family. This is my wife, Queen Valenice, my daughter, Princess Rosella, and my son, Prince Alexander, who started this whole mess. All of you, this mm -hmm. is Princess Cosima from the land of the Green Isle. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. My lady, I am deeply in your debt, and I will make it up to you. With your permission, I'd like to travel to the land of the Green Isles to see you. Kings of Six setup. Woohoo! Also, terrible voice acting on Alexander, but hey. All right, now that we've done with all the formalities, let's get on with business, shall we? Piggledy! Piggledy! Poo! Be assured that your castle is right back where it belongs, and the right size, too. But now it's time that everyone return to their homes. With my help, of course. Alakazam! Alakazoo! Alakazoo! Wait! What about Cedric? There we go. <laughs> Where is Cedric? Over there. Mordak may have killed him. You see that pile of broken bone and feathers? With a cracked monocle on top of it? Let me think. Can you do anything about that? Ah, yes. I think I know. Abra? Abracabara? No. Come on, buddy. Uh, you, got, you got this. Abracadora? No, 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 no. Not that one. Now, what is that confounded word? Oh, yes! Abra! Cadabra! There he is! He's alive! Hey! Oh, Kriksu! Cedric, it sure is good to see you again! Oh, likewise, I'm sure! Alright, enough is enough. Let's get on with it. Okay, Kasima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the Green Isles? Yes, that's right. I can't wait to see my parents again. Oh, about Goodbye, that. Alexander. About Perhaps that. We'll meet again. <laughs> we'll you find out in the next game why that's a problem. Before you send us all home, Crispin, I just want to thank you for all your help. And you too, Cedric. I wouldn't be standing here with my family. I broke a Cedric. <laughs> I'm deeply, deeply grateful. All in a day's work, my boy. All in a day's work, right, Cedric? Right, Crispin. Okay, back home you go. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Alakazee. And scene change. Well, there she is, our happy home, and we're all safe and sound once more. Let's go home, shall we? Yes, let's. And that is King's Quest V. I, I love this game. Full score, baby, let's go. Honestly, just, it has its a lot of dead ends, this one, but... If you know how to avoid them, it's a delightful game. You know, it's just, it's just good time. 
Ah. Confetti. Heading to work now. See you later. Take care, Begados. Thanks for bobbing by. Alright. I am going to... Close the game. So, let's put our music back on. Um, that was the King of Five. We only have two more King's West games left to do in the classic collection, um, which will be King's West Six and King's West Seven, um, of course. Um, I think those games won't be one-offs like these first five were. I think uh, Six and Seven will be games that will take two streams each. Um, so King's West Six will be starting up soon. Um, but before that, I'm going to get through the end of Tomb Raider. Um, what the hell? What the? What is that? Why is there a DNS error on here? What the hell? The chat? Hold on. What the? What the? What, huh? Hold on. Why are you broken? I don't know why it's doing this. Eh? Okay. Well, I, I, I can't explain it. Okay. Um, I guess, uh, I guess it's just this, the, the, on the, the, the chat is just broken on here. I, I'll have to fix that. Um, yeah, I will be finishing off Tomb Raider 2 tomorrow. Um, uh, we have a, it's only like a few more levels left of that. So we'll be finishing that off. And then after that, uh, next week I'm going to be playing, um, Bastion, which will be a two part stream. And then after Bastion's done, I'll be moving on to Kings for Six. Um, also, also, it's the pizza party this Friday. We're doing Gmod Prop Hunt. So if you want to uh, take part in that, join on, in on the Discord and uh, we'll have a good time. That's pretty much all I have to, to, to announce. Um, I guess I'm going to send you guys on a raid. I'll see where I can uh, direct the raid cannon. Um, I want to direct you over to... I'm going to rush you over to Classic Gamer, who is playing uh, a Spongebob game. I can't see which one it is, um, but I will send you over that direction. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow for Tomb Raider. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, and all, uh, all, hope you all take care of yourselves. It's been an absolute delight. Let's get, let's get this raid going. Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Awesome. We're raiding into that. Let's do this.